Hello everyone, welcome to Coach Your YouTube channel. Myself Pradimna and today we will be discussing the problem Array Sorting. Its problem code is ARRSORT and it appeared in the starters 46. It's easy level problem. So let's read the problem statement and understand it. So the problem states as you are given an unsorted permutation P of size N and operation is defined as swap PI and PI plus K for any I in the range 1 comma N minus K. Find the maximum value of k such that the permutation p can be sorted by applying any finite number of operations. Note that a permutation of size n contains all integers from 1 to n exactly once. So let's see what the question is saying. So we will be given a permutation of size n which will be not sorted that is for sure. So what is a permutation? A permutation uh, is uh, of size n will contain n numbers and will contain 1 to n each number exactly once like if n equals to 5 then a uh, valid permutation of it will contain like 3 1 2 5 4 or 4 2 1 3 4 uh, sorry 4 2 1 3 5 so many permutations are possible for n equals to 5 so these all are uh, 1 1 valid permutation so this will be given which will be not sorted that is it will be not in the form like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will not be sorted. So we will be given a permutation of size n and the only operation that is allowed will be swap pi with pi plus k for all um, 1 less than equals to i less than equals to n minus k. So this is the only operation that is allowed. So using this operation any number of times. So we can swap this pi and pi plus k any number of times. Uh, using this operation only, we have to sort the permutation. So uh, that is our task. So in this question, what the question is asking us to do is, we have to find the maximum value of k. This this k, we have to find the, its maximum value of k with which it is guaranteed that our initial permutation will be sorted. So we have to find this uh, maximum possible value of k uh, suppose the maximum uh, possible value of k is uh, max k. So we can swap pi and pi plus max k. So for uh, every i between 1 and n minus max k, we can swap uh, pi and pi plus max k. So using this operation we are able to sort the array and uh, it is the maximum possible value of k that can be achieved with which we can successfully sort the array. So we have to find that maximum value of k that is the task of this question. So the input format for the question is the first line of input will contain a single integer t denoting the number of test cases. Each test case consists of two lines of input. The first line of each test case contains an integer n, the size of the permutation. The next line contains n integers describing the permutation p. It is guaranteed that the given permutation is not sorted. The output format is, for each test case, output on a new line, the maximum possible value of k. And the constraints are, t is between 1 and 10 power 5, n is between 2 and 10 power 5, and sum of n over all test cases does not exceed 10 power 5. Let's look at the sample test cases for this question. So here in the number of test cases t is equal to 3. So coming to the first test case n equals to 4 and the permutation p is 4, 2, 3, 1. So you can see that 2 and 3 are already in their place. Only we need to swap this uh, 1 and 4. So that we can do directly uh, with the maximum uh, k is equal to 3 because p1 we have to swap with p4 and uh, with k equals to 3, uh, this if p1 is treated as pi, then this 4 we can write as i plus uh, k, that is 1 plus 3. So we can swap this directly. And more than 3, uh, we cannot do because the size is itself 4. So uh, p1 can be max swapped with uh, p4. There is no other element after uh, p4. So this is this is k equals to 3 is the max k that is possible. And using this we can sort the array after swapping this 1 and 4 that, that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the max k is 3. So sample output is 3. 
coming to the second test case n equals to 5 and uh, the permutation 1 4 3 2 5 so 1 3 and 5 all are in their places and uh, only we need to swap this 4 and 2 so that can be done with swapping p2 with p4 and for that we need k value equals to 2 so other than that we don't need anything to swap and that's the maximum k value uh, needed to swap the like unmatched elements in the sorted array by swapping that we can get the sorted array that is 1 2 3 4 5 so max k value is 2 the sample output is 2 in this case coming to the third test case n equals to 2 uh, we have only two elements that is 2 1 we need to swap this 2 so the max we can get is k is equals to 1 only because we only have two elements p1 need to be swapped with p2 that can be written as p uh, 1 plus 1 so the value of k is 1 so the sample output is 1 in this case so let's talk about the approach how to solve this problem so i have marked here the indice, index like uh, of the permutation that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that right so whatever n is so uh, initially the permutation is not sorted so it can be present like this that is uh, 6 5 3 1 2 9 anything that is not sorted so after sorting the permutation will become in this order that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that means at uh, each index position that index number itself will be present if the permutation gets sorted so our task will be like that uh, that is we have to bring this uh, unsorted uh, permutation into this sorted form so that means we have to bring the index number to its index position so uh, that means this 6 has to be brought to this 6 index then only the permutation will get sorted this 9 will get into this 9 this 8 will get into this 8, this 2 will come to this 2 like that and uh, whatever uh, we are only allowed with this operation that is pi will be swapped with pi plus k so only if this operation is allowed then ith position uh, number can be swapped only with these numbers that is i minus uh, 2k index i minus k index uh, i plus k index i plus 2k index i plus 3k index like that so all will be uh, the multiples only uh, all will the multiples of a certain number so uh, with this operation the ith positions uh, number can be uh, swapped only with a multiple of a certain number so what we need to find is we will see at each index whatever number is present so that number needs to go to its index place so if at 1 6 is present so 6 needed to go to 6 place so uh, what is the value of k that is needed for this only this operation we'll if we will separate this only 1 with uh, only this 6 has to go to this 6 index so what value of k we need that is 5 because here i is equals to 1 and we need to go to uh, i is equals to 6 so that means i plus k should be equal to 6 so k value should be 5 so how we are getting this 5 that we can directly get from uh, this uh, number difference of this number and this index because uh, whatever number is present if that is not equal to its index that means uh, that has to go to other index and how we can find uh, which index it is that is the number itself and what is the difference that will be the number minus uh, the index that is 6 minus 1 5 so we have to get a swap of 5 the like jump of 5 that is 1 plus 5 is equals to 6 so we'll store it different let's say that is 6 minus 1 5 for here uh, 5 minus 2 that will be uh, 3 here 3 minus 3 that is 0 because 3 is present at its uh, own place only and uh, here 1 is present so 1 need to go to 1 so uh, we can say that a lower number can also be present at a uh, index in that case uh, also we need to go backward like by that magnitude only only the sign difference is there that is here we are 
uh, in case of six, but in case of one, we have to go backward. So the thing is same, but we have to go backward. And what magnitude? That will be four minus one. So instead of finding the number minus index, we can do the absolute difference between the number and index. In this case, uh, this will be three. This five and two, it will be three. This six nine, it will be three. Seven eight, it will be one. Like that, there will be some values. That that will be a difference. That uh, that much jump is needed from that index to the other index, its original place where the number needs to go. So this will have. So if we can arrange a swap of uh, this much magnitude to each number, then we can uh, make this array sorted because. Uh, within the multiples, uh, we can uh, sort the like we can swap the numbers and get our um, permutation sorted. But here you see these all numbers are different. Like they can't be same. They may be different or something. So what we can do is we will find the GCD of all these differences. So why we are finding the GCD? So if we got our GCD of all these numbers. Some value says G. Then these all numbers, these all numbers will become uh, multiples of G because the GCD will be the greatest common divisor of these numbers. So G will become uh, these all numbers will become the multiple of G. So as we have find out that. Uh, within multiples if chosen uh, that number can be swapped within its multiples if k is chosen uh, uh, any number if present in i can be uh, swapped with their multiple that is if present in i minus 2k it can be swapped with uh, multiples of k that is uh, i minus k i minus 2k i, mi I plus k i plus 2k i plus 3k i plus 4k or i minus 3k like that so uh, if we get the GCD, so these all numbers will be its multiple and uh, if we set our k value to this g, then we can easily swap uh, all these uh, differences that is uh, suppose if the differences will be 6 and 3, then our GCD will be 3, then this 6 can be done in two swaps that is one swap to that to the half and the other swap like this swap will have jump 3 and this swap will have jump 3 total we can do the jump 6 and this swap we can do with only uh, 3 itself so both the swap operations can be done so in this case we're, uh, for this we are taking the GCD and uh, as GCD is the greatest common divisor greatest so we are getting the maximum value of k out of uh, like maximum value of k that is possible for this swap operation so this will be our approach that is uh, we will take the absolute difference of the number the number in the permutation and the index and we will calculate it gcd of all the differences and that gcd will be the maximum value of k that is uh, that can guarantee that with that operation of pi and uh, pi plus k getting swapped will guarantee us that our uh, permutations get sorted. If you are still unable to understand the problem or not able to get the correct answer for your code, then don't worry. You can ask your doubts to doubt solver. For that, go to the practice section and after that you can search for your problem. Let's say the problem uh, name is DNA storage. After that click on your problem then go to the problem statement. So there is a section called ask a doubt. After that uh, you can start asking your doubts to the doubt solver and doubt solvers will solve your doubts instantly. So this is the C++ code that got accepted. So first of all I have taken the input for number of test cases in T. Then in each test case I have taken the input for N and declared an answer is equal to 0 to store the GCD of all the differences of the PI and uh, I. 
So I've started iterating from i equals to 1 till n and I've taken the input for each PI and uh, I've calculated the GCD of uh, the existing GCD and uh, the absolute value of PI minus uh, the index i. So here PI is, is stored in x. So here what I'm doing is GCD of first two three values is equal to GCD of two value and uh, GCD of three values is equal to GCD of two value and the third value taken together in GCD. So like that I am doing in an iterative fashion and finally I am uh, getting the GCD of all the n differences and whatever the answer is like whatever the GCD is that is stored in the answer and finally I am printing out the answer as the maximum possible value of k. So this is the python solution that got accepted. So uh, first of all I have taken the input for number of test cases and ran a loop for that many times and after that in each test case I have taken the input for n and the permutation itself and also declared one uh, variable answer with uh, initial value 0 which will store the gcd at each i and after that I have iterated um, from 0 to n uh, and at each iteration I have calculated the gcd of like gcd till now and uh, it's gcd with uh, the difference between uh, ai that is uh, the pi itself uh, that like permutation the value of permutation at ith position uh, minus uh, its index that is i plus 1 so it is 0 based that's why i'm adding 1 in this case so the difference between pi and i and the existing gcd and gcd of both i'm calculating and storing it in answer so that this GCD can be again used in the next iteration uh, with the value of i plus the, like next i and finally uh, GCD of the whole n differences will get calculated and stored in answer and finally I am printing out the answer uh, variable that is the maximum possible value of k uh, that we can get. So this is the python code and that's it and thank you.